So, uh, hello everyone from, from group number six. So, we are designing a solar shelter. 35% uh, of the world's energy is consumed at construction sites. So, based on, uh, based on the size as well as the function of the building, different amount of energy is, need, is required each time. So, if we generate electricity through renewable energy sources, then we can, man we can manage to minimize the energy requirements of the construction. And we cannot see that while contributing to six uh, out of the 17 sustainable development goals. In India, currently one of the quickest developing countries uh, of the world, the workers are living on the construction side in unorganized settlements, as you see here. So here is our opportunity to improve their living conditions through innovating building technology. In addition, India combines uh, uh, quickly developing cities with a uh, high photovoltaic power capacity. However, due to its size, it challenges us with a variety of different sun altitudes. So our aim is to contribute to a more sustainable way of, of building process by decreasing the construction energy consumption while improving the workers' living environment. To achieve this, we try to, to find the optimal structure form for a, cell, for a solar shelter through a designing modeling experiment, which we also presenting in the research innovation course. First, we set our criteria, uh, which are mostly have to do with some structural characteristics, material properties, the size of the unit, the PV power potential, but mostly the adaptability of the structure to the different sun altitudes of India. Then, based on these criteria uh, and research on different aspects of the, um, of the topic, we designed several options of different structures. Following the designs, we built physical models in 1 to 20 scale to experiment the mobility of the unit as a whole and 1 to 5 to investigate the movement of each, of each joint. So for its design, uh, we had to check uh, we have to check and evaluate the movement of the structure, the potential minimization of the volume of the structure, and the complexity of each joint. Then we compared the different options and that we created in order to find the most efficient one in terms of functionality and energy production. So this four-step process became our, our loop that we lived in the, most, the, the last months of our lives, since every time the comparison phase created new ideas to be designed and enter the cycle of the process. So after this endless circle of unfortunate events, we, we had our winner, our final product. So these are the components that you have to keep in mind for the rest of the presentation. We are looking for a climate adaptable, uh, a climate adaptable uh, structure made out of local materials, providing uh, max comfort within the minimum size, and that is easily transportable by a truck. So here we are working on it. So this is one of our first attempts. We loved it at first sight, but soon we realized that it was too good to be true. So we continue experimenting with, uh, with the scissor joint, uh, which is what's really easy to, to set up and quickly. Uh, we, further, we further explored this structure with a different type of, uh, of roof. And also with a more stable structure below the roof. But the fact that the, but the, the efficiency problem was the main that uh, led us to reject this. Uh, we also tried a more common structure um, uh, with uh, more simple joints, except one, which was the main region that made it uh, more complex, this central joint. Uh, and since we are designing for India, uh, we experimented also with uh, some traditional baboon joints uh, with wire. It could potentially evolve into something greater. Uh, and then we have the cross. A really nice movement, but it, it, requires, it requires heavy foundation that, uh, which would increase the cost and the energy uh, demand for the transportation. The same problem uh, also occurred with this V-shaped structure. And somehow we changed our mindset and we tried to, to, to discover more complex structure. Uh, for this one, we really liked the movement 
but the, the complex um, combination of, uh, of different joints for the wire movement, it made too difficult to be productive. But we already felt like close to the, uh, close to finding a solution, but quite a bit sustainable at the moment. But look here at this nice movement, uh, and which is really quick and easy to set up. So let's have a look, a closer look to the setup. Um, so, uh, this is the final product. A few words about this is that the, it's shelter it's consists, uh, consists of two units, um, each of them of six square, square meters. Each unit can accommodate two persons and it is mainly used for sleeping and storage of personal items. The roof above not only protects of the weather conditions but also collects the solar energy. Um, and, and it varies in angle depending on the location and the time of the year from 0 to 35 degrees. A specific part of the structure have been explored further, further since our aim was to connect lightweight materials with strong joineries. Uh, to deepen more into the details, please look up for our complete report. The efficiency of our project is evaluated regarding the location, the radiation gain per year and the PV output per year and per unit per unit and per unit, yeah. Um, trying to depict our complete vision, we've divided the shelter, the shelter's life in three phases. Phase one, set up of the units on the construction site before the building phase begins. Phase two, phase two, during the construction, our shelter provides direct accommodation for the workers while generating 22 kilowatt per hour uh, per, each, per day. Violetta, um, you're at the time, you have 15 minutes to round up, 15 seconds. Okay. Um, so our greatest same above all is to create the sense of community between the workers and the construction site. Uh, for sure, we have to research further and in depth the detailing drawings. Um, but if we could uh, go back in time, then we would definitely do it again, uh, since we truly believe in this uh, in its environmental and social impact. Thank so you very thank much. you all.